The canvas is a fundamental element in Pixel CNC, providing you with a versatile platform for your creative projects. It allows you to work with roster, vector, and 3D files, allowing you to combine different file formats in one place. Let's take a look at setting up your canvas. To start working with the canvas, access the canvas properties on the left-hand side of the Pixel CNC interface. Once we click on that, the right panel lets us know what properties we can adjust. Our first column, size, is the actual size of our canvas. This can be the actual size of your stock material or just the size of the area you want your design to be. Next, setting the job zero point for your X, Y, and Z axis. Your job zero is set in the origin column. When X and Y are at zero, that means they are at the corner of your board. Just as if you had a piece of graphing paper with X and Y, zero, zero would be in that lower left-hand corner as indicated right here. We can see our Y and X axis are in the corner. Our Z axis is set to 12.21, which is on top of our canvas. If we wanted to zero Y off our spoil board or the bottom, we change this to zero, click apply, and we can see it moves it down to the bottom. So this is where your X, Y, and Z are zeroed off of. Let's say you wanted to center to the middle of your project. To do that, go to the X origin and we will type in the size of our X times 0.5. And then for Y, we will repeat the process times 0.5, enter, and then we'll click apply. And as we can see, our job zero is now the center top of our board. We'll go ahead and reset this back to our lower left-hand corner off the top. Next, we can adjust the fill or the volume of our canvas. So in the Z fill, if we press this arrow up, click apply, we can see this gray volume has been applied to our canvas. If we only wanted half, again, we can use times 0.5, apply, and now our volume is half of the canvas size. So depending on what type of project you're doing, you can either fully fill your canvas and then do a reductive with the other parts to take away, or you can start with no fill or half fill or just even two millimeters fill and then add with your vector roster or 3D files. For this, I'm gonna set this to six, hit apply. And now let's look at how the layers interact with the canvas. Layers are the artistic palette in Pixel CNC. You can create or import various types of layers. As mentioned earlier, roster, vector, 3D, or even text. What's great is that you can mix and match these layers to create your project. When using any layer, the origin is the starting point, with zero being the top of the material, negative being that far down from the top, the size is how tall it will be from the origin. Let's say we import some vector files that we will then use the generate shapes effect on. Once we have applied the shapes from path effect, they will then create a new roster layer. To engage with any layer that you have imported or started, make sure you are clicked on it, a yellow bounding box will be around the object you have selected. And then we're going to get rid of the bounding box I have created for this file. We are now left with this single vector import, which contains two shapes. If you have a vector and you need to select certain items, let's say there were three items and you only wanted to select two, hold down the shift key and then select each vector shape you want to select. If we select these two objects and then say shapes from paths, let's do a fillet shape, generate, and now we have this picture frame look here. And once we have done the shapes from paths, we can see it generates a roster layer. We can go back to our vector layer 
enable the path. Let's say we click just the oval in the middle and we do a shapes from path on this one as well. And we will do a rounded shape for this generate. It has now generated an, another roster layer. Notice how when we had both the rectangle and the oval selected, it generated a shape between those two. When we just had the oval, it generated a shape just for the oval. Now, if we wanted to adjust the placement of these or its height, let's go ahead and turn off this oval here. We are still in our oval here, but first disable paths. We're going to make sure you're still on your vector. And we are going to change the size here. We're going to change this to six. We'll click apply. And so this is adjusting how high we want our Z height. If we enable again, select select our oval shapes from paths. We'll do a rounded shape again. And we've created this here, but we're not seeing anything. That is because we set our fill in our canvas to six millimeters. So if we cr click on a roster layer and we move our origin from six to negative six, it appears. If we change this to four, it is four millimeters from the top, zero. Remember when we were setting our job zero point? And if we set this to negative eight, make sure it's negative eight. It'll now be shallower than our frame here. Let's see if we can see it a little bit better if we did negative 10. And we can see it move down. And we also do not have to move it. We can also adjust the size here. So let's just say we want this to be four millimeters. Remember our fill is at six millimeters. So we will change this to negative six. We'll hit apply. And so it is coming up four millimeters. Let's change this to one so we can see how drastically it changes. And there we go. Just as we adjusted the raster in its size and origin, you can adjust how it's generated from its vector with its size and origin point. What this allows you to do is to create some really fun combinations and really build complex and interesting parts. For this video, I have used very simple elements. As we progress in Pixel CNC, we will add complexity in both the overall design and combination of layers. One thing to note, you can have volume outside of your canvas. It will be marked red and will be ignored when you move to the tool pathing. To wrap up, the canvas in Pixel CNC is a dynamic foundation for your creations. Today, we have gone over the basics of setting up and manipulating the canvas and layer properties and laid the essential groundwork for bringing your artistic visions to life. We have just scratched the surface of the tools and features available, so make sure you are subscribed to dig deeper as we explore Pixel CNC. This is Paul with DE Hammer, and until next time, keep making stuff.